<laughs> what you doing there? Hi! Ha. Take every day as a miracle. Just having her there, you never know when she's gonna go. Don't give up. It's just the weight of the world When your heart's heavy I, I will lift it for you Don't give up Because you want to be heard If silence keeps you I, I will break it for you for you Sometimes 
Sometimes we're broken and we don't know why But I'm tired and I lose my that she looked at me because her eyes the muscles that moved her eyes she she just looked at me not in a way that, it, that my other two had looked at me mm -hmm. so her eye was tucked on more into the side of her socket than normal and I then had a mama feeling that something was wrong um, and I think she wasn't keeping up with her milestones she wasn't um, walking when she should have been walking um, she rolling over. She was keeping up with all that stuff. Uh, how did you react when you found out that your daughter had this? Uh, <laughs> that was a tough, really tough day. And it was a result of an um, MRI scan. So uh, we started getting her physical therapy through Kindering, who's, which was a great program for her. They had their suspicions. We only realized that now, later on, that they knew kind of what was going on, but they didn't say anything. We were being pressed to go see a neurodevelopmental doc at Children's Hospital to get her examined. And we were trying to just let the physical therapy part of it uh, do its thing and take its course to see her improve. There are certain things happening that we just had to... We were forced into going to see the neurodevelopmental doc. He saw her, he thought it might be a mild case of cerebral palsy because she had some difficulties at birth. Then he ordered the MRI for, the, for her brain, and we got the results back that same day, and he sat us down and told us that she had a progressive brain disease, that uh, there was nothing that we could do, or that they could do, and that we should go home, or take her home to enjoy her. Because she wasn't going to live very long. Mm -hmm. So it was, um, the prognosis with the type of mitochondrial disease she has is about three years old. Today, Alex is six. But I want to specify that that MRI said that she had was the was the uh, the diagnosis for the Lees mm -hmm. because you could see it in her brain. As far as the mitochondrial part, she had to have a muscle biopsy. Um, so they took a chunk out of her thigh, it was biopsied, and that determined or concluded uh, de definitely that she had mitochondrial disease complex four. Mm -hmm. Be seven forty three. Yeah. It's important that we don't miss any doses. If we do, we document the fact that, we, that they were missed so that when she goes to the research uh, clinic, they know. And you can see that how Alex was really kind of high energy in there a few minutes ago. Mm -hmm. Now she's That's very high energy. energy. Her batteries have run out. Yep. She likes to push in her dose. Are you going to help me today? No. 
sure. You want to push it in, Alex? No. So here she gets more fluids with her with her dose. We just keep pushing the fluids in as much as we can. Her fluids also have to do with her uh, gut and keeping her gut moving because if we don't, if she gets behind on her fluids, then things get backed up, and that creates a whole other set of problems. 